what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy tell by reacts in the house why do i sound like i'm on the radio i don't know but <laughs> anyways guys we're jumping into another episode of the final season of sons of anarchy i know you guys are saying why is he taking so long <laughs> listen guys <laughs> listen man we're gonna get there we're gonna get there you know what i'm saying we're gonna get there no matter what we're gonna get there we only have not a lot more episodes to do i'm gonna try to get them done um maybe i um i promise you by next weekend we will be done with sons of anarchy i'm gonna try to get two of these episodes done today and then maybe another couple tomorrow the way out how we receive I might just run them throughout the week if I can get them edited, edited um, run them throughout the week, but I'm going to try my best to complete this this weekend. I have a lot to do this weekend as well, so we'll see how things go. But in any case, man, we're just going to jump in. You guys already know what to do, man. Um, we're coming up to the end of the series, and things are looking really dicey. You know what I'm saying? For our crew, Um you know things are going haywire right now i don't know i don't know how they're gonna get out of these situations especially Jax. i really don't know how he's planning to get out of any of these situations that he's in um things are not looking in his favor right now um he's made moves based on false informations from his moms and it's just Gemma is just, I, I don't even know what to say about her. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, she's one of my favorite characters in the show. But at the same time, it's its like, it's not, it, it's a love-hate relationship. Because of the things that she does and what people put themselves through just to protect her, it's, it's, it's unbelievable um, to me. And that's why I said... You know, at the end of this series, I'm predicting that she's going to be basically the last person standing and everybody else get arrested. Like, that's the road we're heading down. Um, it's just crazy. But in any case, guys, we're going to jump in um, of this new episode here. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. And of course, man, leave a comment after. You guys know what to do. One of the things that when it comes on to Sons of Anarchy, even though people tend to call me a liar and stuff, <laughs> you know, um, listen, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. But in any case, let's jump in. Let's jump in. Don't want to harp on that um, too much, too much, because it is what it is. <laughs> but let's jump in. I'll see you guys at the end for the review. All right, confessions, confessions. So, I started to watch episode nine. Could have swore I, I, you know what I'm saying. I start, I, I thought I was watching episode eight, but I started to watch because I was like, no, there's stuff happening in episode nine that it would have been like they skipped over the entire part of it. They, they came to the part where they were talking about jury. Like, they know that jury betrayed them. And I was like, I didn't see what led up to that. So that's why I was like, no, let me check to see if I skipped an episode. Turns out I was watching episode 9. I was supposed to be watching episode 8. So, here we go. Episode 8. Let's get it. This is going to be confusing in my editing now because I recorded that first. So we'll do two in a row. So I'll just upload eight and nine together. We'll do that.
hey man there's a lot of casualties of war but Gemma is the reason why all this happened Philip. <laughs> Skis. Moses said, every 24 hours, I'll get passed away. He's going to cut off another part of your life. That means you guys are going to leave the desert. Jesus Christ. I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out. I already built my guys on scoping out post office buildings and construction sites. I'm about to say that. Oh, I had a couple outside old school. Yeah, those got compromised a while back. There's no half or the title. You want this after Mark, we do this together. You're on your own. Alright. I'll let you know when we find out. Like there's no half ass in it, man. Yeah, because I seriously thought. So why ask? <laughs> Tell him you're not the 
Bro. <laughs> Damn. It's his son. Yo. 
I thought he was his nephew or something. It's his son, bro. This is how they found out, man. Because I was watching the episode now, and I was like, when did they find out that Jurich betrayed him? Yo, that's crazy. About what? <laughs> Give us some of that proof that comes to the DA. Otherwise, we'll just wait for their curfew. First job. One of them is dead. There were two of them. They did the most of I gave the other one the location of the house. Once I had my eye on it. I'm going to need a few days to. You have until tomorrow morning. Shit is wild. What can I say? <laughs> Gemma to ID and there's one of the 
DOT a heads up. Oh, he knows, but he ain't going to tell you the right person. I'll reach out to Patterson. Because if a kid heard something like that, He's going to repeat that mo to someone. Oh my God. Gemma. Did Abel do that? Gemma. No son is safe. Who did this? Who did this? At first I thought it was but Abel was at school. I don't really care about the birds that much. I'm just saying <laughs> I mean they killed the birds. I don't even know why or who is sending this warning. Are you serious? Then who did it? It has to be you, dude. It has to be you. Kind of I never read it. 
ever was in it, if it would have gotten out, it would have destroyed the sun before part of the moon. What do you think happened to your old man that day out on Friday? Clay got his heart crushed. Yeah, he heard the screams. But there was one thing that didn't happen. Anything was wrong with it the second it did. Mm. And it was. He was my old man laughing at my grandma and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it was his sacrifice. His way of getting his club and hand to survive. Yeah, it's kind of dumb, but. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Why would you just run into a semi? This <laughs> is like. know about that one man What a show, man. What a show. But, you know what? Let me just do it on the next video. For me, it's just like when it comes on to this part of um, the show here, you know, just now watching this episode, right? And... You know, going in, I'm going to watch the second half of episode nine um, now, but just watching this episode and hearing the stuff that Jury was talking about, I don't know about all that. I don't think John killed himself. I don't think John killed himself. I think I really do think that Gemma had something to do with it. Right. He did talk about that in the book as well. Didn't he talk about that there was something wrong with his bike? In the book, in the confessions to the, to his, um, to the, the, I'm trying to remember. Because all those letters from, I think her name is Maureen or something like that. The, the, um, the Irish lady, um, right? I'm pretty sure that in the letters, he wrote to her and told her that he thinks that Clay and... Clay and Gemma is trying to kill him or something of the sort, if I remember correctly. So I don't think, I'm not believing that for a second, 
that John wanted to kill himself. I think, I don't think he killed himself. Yes, he knew his bike very much so. But when you're dealing with people, it's, it's kind of like this. I'll give you guys an example, right? As much as I pick this controller up, right, every day, I know the feel of it. I know the, the, you know what I'm saying? I know the weight and everything. It's like muscle memory, right? That doesn't mean that if somebody comes in here into the room and um, who knows about video games or who knows about controllers can't tamper with this controller and I wouldn't know. You get what I'm saying? Like immediately, no. Yes, I might pick up on it immediately, but the chances of that happening is very low because it's somebody else that knows about controllers that actually tampered with it of course if it's somebody who doesn't know anything about controllers you know what i'm saying did something like you know probably they you know one of the the the, the thumbsticks is stick to one side or, or or something of another they may miss with the triggers and it's spoiled i'm gonna notice right away but it could be something somebody could have break the controller down and took something out of it that I wouldn't notice. You get what I'm saying? So that's my argument for that. And that's why I can't believe that, because if Clay actually tampered with the bike. Right. If Clay actually tampered with the bike. That doesn't mean that John was going to notice immediately until he was probably on the highway already or when it actually started to break down and he ran into the freaking truck. So for me, when I hear that, it just does, it's not going to add up in my brain. Yes, it is a possibility he did kill himself, but I don't think so. I don't think John, we, we don't know him, but at the same time, I don't think he's the type of dude that would kill himself but like that. I just don't feel like from the things that he has said and stuff like that to sacrifice himself like that does just doesn't make sense. You get what I'm saying? It just doesn't. It does it doesn't add up to what we've known about this character for all these time for all this time. So alright, so we're gonna jump in. Uh, at least I'm gonna watch the second half of episode nine. <laughs> I thought you were dead, dude. Back into such a gift, Neil. You what? You don't know where? Look 
For real. <laughs> Don't be a dick. That girl ain't... Yeah. That's a regular thing. Yeah. 
Ooh. Yo. <laughs> Nira's like, God damn it. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for 10 seconds. <laughs> Damn, she just got Let me make this clear. I am not I am told by corrupt school dysfunctional little town. They don't call the DA at Washington. I serve and protect my father. That's all she has to do. Talk to me. Far be it from me to burst anybody's happy little bubble. Keep on telling myself that I'm a model citizen. And you keep on pretending to be so bad. If you lay your hands on me again, I will throw your white trash on the table. Look, I got this. Maybe I'm starting to learn. I'll shoot you in the head. Mm. A threat for a. Th I just wondered why people do that. <laughs> why do you clear the desk? Like I've I've always wondered why people do that when they're angry at something. It's just like you're the one that's gonna have to clean it up. <laughs> I don't get it, bro. Like I don't break stuff when I'm angry. Bobby alive? You look at the kid, that phone, and the gun. Deal. Four pieces. <laughs> you know what I like? 
seen him at the rehab. Because when you do, I'm the normal one. <laughs> 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 I can't even imagine what that smells like. I hope I never have to smell that. Because trust me, just having like dead dogs, bruh, like dead dogs, ugh, sound horrible. Here we go. All right, so in order, now that I've watched episode eight, find out how they found out about Jury, they've killed Jury. So that I completely missed out on. I had to go and watch episode eight. Um, we'll see. All right, so we're halfway through episode nine. Let's get it. You know what comes out of the meeting. What has to be done. I thought Red Hood was like the overall arching of the entire charters. Thank you. 
white guy came in with my friend, and he came, he strolled up for a 15 seconds, and I'm like, checking AB affiliates. Some follow up comes on and then we left. Take him to the This phone. Don't do so. They didn't file the charges and they had to fly out to the police station to get some help on the dispatch. Oh shit. He he couldn't have been there. That's the night tire was killed. Bruh. <sighs> Shit backfired hard, bro. Yo. Well, Marx always pulls up after. No weapons, no army. Fair enough. Stay with Grace. Everybody else drives away. I don't trust Marx as far as I control that nigga. Marks has to go, man.
Damn, bro. I thought he was going to kill the kid, but... Damn, Bobby. Fuck, bro. Bobby's dead. Yo. That's the life. That's the life. <laughs> Yep, this is all coming from your lie. This is all happening because of her lies. Everything that has been happening ever since Tara died is all because of Gemma. The entire thing. I want to I wonder if Hunter is going to tell tell them what happened. She knows. She knows this is all happening because of her. And not for nothing, she would say something. I think Unser is going to tell Jax, you know, hey, the guy y'all are fingering, that's not the guy. It ain't the Chinese. Whatever your mom and Juice is telling you, it ain't about him. To a point. <laughs> the, it tired the when Tyra died, it it tore him, man. Tore him. Changed him completely.
Yo. I don't even know what to think at this point because it's 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 like it's to the point of like all this could be stopped at one point or the other by the truth coming out. So I wonder if um whatever her name is They're going to stop this before it happens. And they're going to stop this before it happens. So this is not. Yep. She loves confessing stuff out loud. just just creeping around man he's gonna hear Gemma confessing some shit again oh my god cause she's always saying stuff out loud here we go again man Of course you didn't. Okay. 
<laughs> Abel is like <laughs> he's like present when he needs to be and in some ways it's way too convenient for the plot you get what I'm saying in some ways I think it happening a second time is just way too convenient for the plot and I think that's probably going to they lost some points for that I'm not gonna lie because him that happening a second time it's too convenient you know what I mean? You're like, oh yeah. We did it. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, so as I was saying there, that was just... It was just way too convenient for the plot, in my opinion, the way how it was done. You get what I'm saying? Like, it was just way too convenient for the plot. And... When it comes on to, to Abel experiencing that again, like they, they should not have wrote that in there. I think, as I said, when it comes, when it comes on to the show, I had, I had literally zero problems with the plot until they did that. That was the problem for me. That was just way too convenient. And I think they, 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 they missed they miss with that it was unnecessary because if in the end abel does not you know what i'm saying if in the end abel doesn't try to kill his grandma or some something like that or tell somebody like why is this why is this i know we're not at the end yet so we don't know what's happening but I, but i think the biggest thing for me with that was like him experiencing the same thing in two separate scenarios like the likelihood of that is like zero to, to none <laughs> you know what i'm saying like the probability of you catching somebody confessing something twice in secret where you're not supposed to be there the probability is very 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 extremely low especially for a child you get what i'm saying so unless you're actively trying to figure figure things out he's five years old you know what I'm saying? So I think when you put things into perspective on how that happened, it just doesn't fit very well and it doesn't sit very well with me. But we're going to go along because that one little thing is not going to mess up my experience and let me think, you know, oh, the show is ruined now. Like it's not ruined for me in any ways. I just think that that was a mishap. That shouldn't have happened a second time in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Um, and me and that's just me saying this nine episodes into the final season that's just me saying that i don't know what's going to happen in the next four four episodes um so it is what it is so um i really did think that i had that i was watching episode eight i really thought i was watching episode eight but it turns out i was watching episode nine so i had to go back watch episode eight and then finish episode nine so here we are two episodes for this upload so i hope you guys are happy because y'all been saying i don't upload consistently man <laughs> anyways we're out here I'm, I'm i'm trying to do my best so when it comes on to what's going on this entire thing like i don't want to see Gemma crying i want to see you crying i want to see you crying because you caused all of this you caused this. The, everything that has been happening since Tara died is all your fault. Everything. Diosa. Um, Bobby getting killed. Everything. I blame it all on you. Jack's going ballistic against the people that he helped set up and all this other stuff to get out of the game. You messed it all up. Literally, the show could have ended in, in, in season six. The show could have ended. When, when Tara died, the show could have ended. 
No, not when Tara died. <laughs> what am I saying? Not when Tara died. The show could have ended that season, you know, with Jax, you know, taking the fall, letting Tara take care of the kids, all of that stuff, man. It could have been a wrap. It could have been a wrap. Great show, storybook ending. It could have been great, but no. But no, Gemma had to, you know, act. She had to do to, what she had to do to protect the family. You know what I'm saying? She had to go Vin Diesel on Tara. It's crazy how things are turning out. No, everything's spiraling out of control. Killed, killed, Jack's having to kill a president. All of this stuff is all from her telling the one lie. So I'm wondering now, who, who is going to tell her? Who is going to tell her? Or not her. Who is going to tell Jax that Dunn was out of town in jail, right? When this, when Tara was killed. I'm, I was, I mean... It seems like Unser is looking into it to, to try to see if he can put the pieces together because he, he's going to put it together. He's going to put it together and realize that Gemma and and Juice has something to do with Tara's and, and Roosevelt's death. Um, he's definitely going to figure it out. Um, and I blame Unser a little bit too because that night, the way how... Gemma got out of the house. It was the dumbest thing ever. I've talked about it before. It was it was just dumb. It was just dumb. But great season so far, man. I'm enjoying it nonetheless. Um RIP RIP Bobby. Great character in the show up until now. I, I really in that scene I thought Marx was going to actually I thought he was gonna kill the kid. But then when he said what he said, I was like, okay, it's going to be Jax or Bobby. But it's still, it was still very, like, shocking, you know, because I know it's the final season. I know if you're creating a good show, you have to. You have, well, you, you don't have to. But if you want to continue the trend of the show and how it's been going and how the story is being told, the final season somebody close to them have to die somebody from the club i've talked about this i think at the beginning of the season i said i expect some people of the main cast to die um i also said that i don't think that Jax is going to survive the show i do believe that Gemma will right but there have been some surprises that really made me think that Jax might survive the show though so i'm looking back on it i was like Jax has been in these all these situations and these they still haven't they, i mean they're not gonna kill his character in episode nine you know what i'm saying um but if they had done that i would have been like yo props to the writer of the show to you know what i'm saying like how are i would be asking right now like how are they planning to do f like four more episodes after this with your main character dead like that's the question i would have been asking um so they're just doing an excellent job and i have to you know I, when when it comes on to certain things in shows and tv show i mean tv shows and you know anime or whatever i have to point out the critical things that i think that the writers messed up on i have to point it out because this show has been going i've had no issues with the story so far until that that should have not happened twice like it was unnecessary for it to happen twice you get what i'm saying it, it's just unnecessary and with able lashing out and as i said before when it comes on to a five-year-old kid a five-year-old kid not gonna hear something like that and keep it to himself like that's a weird thing too about this character is because it's like he's five years old he should have already at least said it to wendy or or Jax, or somebody or even what's her name i can never remember her name the 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 girl with, who's bipolar 
he would have mentioned that already he's five years old and all kids do is talk especially when they hear something like that all they do is want to tell somebody a kid internalizing that does not really make sense because it's not like he doesn't have anybody else to tell if it was a situation where he doesn't have anybody else to tell totally understanding internalize it doesn't really want it he's intimidated don't want to tell the teacher and even in in most cases a kid is probably going to mention that to their teacher at school or another kid or something of the sort or some way of an outlet so that's kind of like i don't want to say it's bad writing but there's certain things that is just not adding up with with abel's character like why is he internalizing all of this that he's hearing from his grandmother you get what i'm saying a, a five-year-old kid doesn't have in my opinion the brain power to be trying to process all of that you get what i'm saying and to it, i don't know maybe maybe you know what i'm saying i'm no psychologist or anything i'm just saying from my experience and you know being around five-year-olds you know what i'm saying anything that happens like literally all kids do is they they talk that's what they do especially if they hear you say something you know what i'm saying they either gonna say it out of turn you get what i'm saying like they'll just say it out randomly you get what i'm saying because kids don't understand discretion they they just don't so it's 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 just weird to me in that sense so when i see stuff like that i really do have to bring it up to say that that's kind of stuff that just you know you're just putting that stuff in there to create drama that's not necessary you get what i'm saying so i definitely got to call it out but if you guys disagree you can disagree it's not a big deal you know what i'm saying so yeah man two episodes you guys should be happy <laughs> you guys should be happy but in any case um thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts don't forget to like the video don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment <coughs> uh don't forget to comment and i will catch you guys later man peace